Here we have the bone that is found in the um, thigh. This is the femur. The femur is pretty distinctive. It has a very round ball-like head um, uh, supported by a neck. So here is the head of the femur. That's what fits into the acetabulum of the oscoxa, the head of the femur. Then we have some fairly large bumps. Here we have a big bump. Here we have another big bump. This big bump is called the greater trochanter. The smaller bump is called the lesser trochanter. Greater, lesser trochanter. If you follow the trochanters down, you're going to run into a very rough spot on the proximal end of this bone. This rough spot is called the gluteal tuberosity. It is where the um, gluteal muscles attach. So this tells you, this tuberosity tells you this is the posterior aspect of the bone because the gluteal muscles are going to attach on the posterior side. If you run your finger down the rough gluteal tuberosity, it will um, change into a, a raised smooth ridge. Once it has changed into this raised smooth ridge, we call it the linea aspera. So here is the linea aspera. Down on the distal end, we find two large knuckle-like projections. These are called condyles. There is a medial condyle and a lateral condyle. You can tell this is the medial condyle because it's on the same side as the head of the femur. The lateral condyle is on the same side as the trochanters. There are two bones in the lower leg. The two bones are the tibia, which is this large one right here, the weight-bearing bone, and the slender fibula, which is a stabilizing bone. We'll begin with the tibia. The proximal end of the tibia has two condyles. Here is a condyle and here is a condyle. One of them is medial and one of them is lateral. The way that you are able to know which uh, condyle is medial and lateral is that you look at the distal end of the tibia and on the distal end, we see a big projection, a styloid process that has its own name called the medial malleolus. Medial malleolus is medial. So that means this is the medial side of the bone, therefore this is the medial condyle of the tibia, and this is the lateral condyle of the tibia. Um, the medial malleolus is what we generally think of as our um, medial ankle. The ankle on the inside of your leg is really the medial malleolus of your tibia. Um, at the proximal end we find another rough spot called the tibial tuberosity. And that's pretty much it for the tibia. This slender bone is the fibula. The fibula also has um, a styloid process on it. That styloid process is the lateral malleolus, and it's generally what we refer to as our ankle on the lateral side of our leg. Here is an articulated foot. We have the tibia, we have the fibula, medial malleolus, lateral malleolus,